So you are doing it. You're heading out for your first trip to Grand Junction, Colorado. We're gonna tell you a pretty good agenda, we think, to really get a feel for the area when you do come out, whether that's for two weeks or even two days. We're gonna do it right after this, so stay tuned. What's up everybody? This is Robert Hayes. And I'm Christy Hayes. And we are the Hayes Home Group right here in Grand Junction, Colorado. If you are brand spanking new to this channel and you just want to know everything about what it's like to work, live, play, eat, sleep here in Grand Junction, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Tap that bell, that way you're notified every single time we post a new video. If you're returning back, thank you so much. We are literally getting phone calls every day from people that are looking to move out here to Grand Junction and we absolutely Absolutely love it. So if that's you, make sure you reach out and give us a phone call, shoot us a text, send us an email, even send that carrier pigeon, whatever you need to do, because we've got your back when moving to Grand Junction. Okay, so you've been doing all this research online. Obviously, you're watching this video right now, right? And you're really excited about the abundance of sunshine, the limited snowfall, the outdoor lifestyle, all that great stuff. But you want to just your 90%, that extra 10% is coming out here and really just having the Grand Valley put its arms around you, give you a big old bear hug so that you know that for sure this is the place that you want to move to. So we thought we would give you, you know, again, some ideas of what you should do during that stretch of time. It might only be a couple of days. Uh, usually, what do you say, Christy, people that are calling, they're, a lot of times they've already been out here, but some haven't been out here, right? Mm -hmm. um, so we just want to give you that feel of the Grand Valley when you're here and, and really use your time wisely. How about that? So the first thing that I really think you should do, if you can, is stay locally here on Main Street. There's a couple of hotels that one is called the Spring Hill Suites, the other one's called the Fairfield Inn and that just really gives you an opportunity to stay downtown on Main Street and walk along with all the shops mm -hmm. and what else, Christy? Oh, restaurants, there's music stores, there's all kinds of cafes, restaurants, shopping, of course, which is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> there's all kinds of fun stuff to do on Main Street and it just gives you a sense of the charm of Grand Junction. Now, I'll put a link in the description of all the hotels uh, that you can stay at here in the Grand Valley when you do come out for a visit but I do recommend staying on Main Street if you can. That way after a long day, it's only four or five city blocks. You can walk up and down, hit those shops, hit those brew pubs, all the fun things that downtown Main Street has to offer. Every Thursday in the summer, June to September, is a really cool farmer's market. They block off the entire Main Street here and they've got you know guys selling produce, snacks, kettle corn, which is my favorite, all kinds of vendors lining Main Street. Uh, no cars allowed for a few hours. You absolutely have to do that. Uh, then after that, the second thing that you absolutely must do is hit up the Colorado National Monument. So that's going to be on Grand Avenue and that's going to take, is it Monument Road, Christy? Yeah. So the east entrance is off Monument Road and you're going to take Highway 340. It's Grand Avenue here downtown, but it turns into Highway 340. Swing a left on Monument Road and that's going to take you right to the east entrance to the Colorado National Monument. And let's face it, that's why people are moving out here. They love the outdoor lifestyle, all the hiking trails, the gorgeous scenery that is the Colorado National Monument. So you absolutely have to do that drive. It's a 22 mile drive on top. It'll drop you back down to Highway 340 on the west end. It'll take you a good, you know, 35, 40 45, minutes. Well, about an hour if you stop and take pictures. Yeah, and you have to do that. Yeah. There's a couple of look.
lookout points. You gotta snap those photos. There's a visitor center towards the west entrance of the Colorado National Monument. So just really take advantage of it. That's why you're moving out here is that go those gorgeous landscapes, those gorgeous, the gorgeous scenery up there. So that's the second thing. That's the second must do that you have to do when you're out here for your first visit. The, the next thing you have to do when you're here in Grand Junction is head out to Palisade, our little Napa Valley, and do what, Christy? <laughs> Taste all the wine. <laughs> do some wine tasting. There are over 30 wineries here in the Grand Valley. Most of them are on the east end of the valley in Palisade. So head out Interstate 70, hang a right at the exit, and go through and, and tour some of the wineries. It's totally free. Um, well, I guess I shouldn't say it's totally free. It's free to get in, but they're, they might charge you five bucks seven bucks for um, you know whatever you want to do if you want to get a whole flight um, if you want to do just a you know single glass and then head on to the next winery it's really a nominal fee but I mean again that's why why people are heading out this way the outdoor lifestyle the wineries so you absolutely have to do that and then this is the perfect time of year to get those world famous Palisade peaches mm -hmm. which I know you know it's just a peach it's not that big of a deal it is a big deal here in Grand Junction so make sure you get a Palisade peach I recommend getting the flight of course tasting all the wine because it, <laughs> it has quite a range and then go to the meadery because they uh, use like Robert said a lot of the local peaches and they'll have those sweet wines made with the Palisade peaches which I love it's awesome absolutely Okay, so the next thing that we absolutely recommend that you do is head up to the Grand Mesa, which is only about 40 minutes away. Uh, you can kind of cheat a little bit if you want and go to Powderhorn, which is the ski resort here. Obviously no snow in the summer, uh, but you can take the chairlift up to the top of Powderhorn Ski Resort, which is the Grand Mesa. That's the top of the Grand Mesa. If you carry, if you take that road beyond Powderhorn Ski Resort, another 20, 25 minutes, you'll be on top of the Mesa and it's just gorgeous landscapes up there. It's the world's largest flat top mountain up on uh, the Grand Mesa. So there's lakes, there's little restaurants. Um, you can hike up there as well. It's an elevation of about 10,000 feet. Absolutely stunning up there on the uh, Grand Mesa in the summertime, even the wintertime for that matter. And ladies, don't be like me. Uh, the first time I went for a hike up on Powderhorn, I wore sandals. Don't wear sandals. Wear tennis shoes or hiking boots. <laughs> Good advice. Another thing that you might want to do just for fun, even though maybe you're not spending $800,000 when you move out here, you have to drive through the Redlands Mesa Golf Course community. It's just a gorgeous drive, gorgeous homes, gorgeous scenery. Heck, play golf while you're here too. It's not that expensive, but uh, just the scenery going up to Redlands Mesa, one of the premier neighborhoods in Grand Junction, uh, just stunning. You get the views of the valley below and the monument. Again, just a gorgeous little drive. Didn't take you more than five or 10 minutes to drive the little circle through Redlands Mesa just to give you a sense of uh, what some of those premier neighborhoods look like if anything just for fun and then what you also want to do you cannot pass up the world famous Enstrom's candies here in Grand Junction they send chocolate almond toffee all over the world so stop in there they got a little uh, ice cream shop in there and you can also buy some of their world famous almond toffee at Enstrom's here downtown in Grand Junction as well and what about the kiddos if the kiddos are coming with you. Take them to the Dinosaur Museum. Yeah, that's super fun. That's out in Fruta. It's a, just a fun time. They've got all kinds of uh, fossils and uh, little, uh, what do you call it? Those little, uh, uh, I can't even think of the word, electronic devices. You oh, hit yeah. the buttons and the dinosaurs move. Uh, so that's pretty fun. And then you can also, during the summer, the minor league uh, Colorado Rockies, which is the Grand Junction Rockies. They play here in Grand Junction. Take them to a ball game, pay, I don't know, five, five, six bucks for a ticket. Seven dollars. Seven dollars yeah. to get in. Get yourself a 50 cent hot dog and, uh, you know, beer for you if that's what your, your thing is. And just have a great time there at the baseball game. And down there in Fruta, if you love pizza like me and Christy do, you have to go to the Hot Tomato Cafe down there in Fruta. Best pizza in the valley. Make sure you don't miss that. It's absolutely phenomenal.
And another thing that you're gonna probably wanna do while you're here to get a sense of some of the areas, some of the neighborhoods in the Grand Valley. In fact, in the description below, I'll put another link to a video that I did that gives you a feel for all the different areas in the Grand Valley and Grand Junction. And once you've maybe settled on an area, drive through and figure out maybe that's the, the kind of home, the kind of neighborhood that I'm looking for if I do decide that I wanna move out here. So you get a feel for you know the home prices, you get a feel for what the neighborhood look like some of the views all that good stuff so drive around some of the areas once you get a, a sense of what area might be the best fit for you or, or you and your family so those are the things that we absolutely recommend that you do when you come out for your first visit here to Grand Junction don't be discouraged if you only have a couple of days Grand Junction itself is only about 40 square miles you can go from one end of the valley to the other end in 20 minutes but those are the must do's I think as far as you know getting a sense immersing yourself you've read all the information you've been watching our videos thank you so much for that now it's time to come out and really make sure this is the place for you and we think it probably will be so again if you're brand new to the channel make sure you hit subscribe tap the bell all the buttons we appreciate that and if you're even thinking about moving out here you gotta reach out give us a phone call shoot us a text send us an email even send that carrier pigeon whatever you need to do we've got your back when moving to Grand Junction until the next video We'll catch you later.